Hey Greg, a couple days ago I saw this TikTok and I knew I had to make a video about it, so go ahead and check it out. My Sigma mills are more attractive than alpha mills. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. So I saw this TikTok and I immediately knew I have to watch this video. My first thought was, oh my God, I need to watch the rest of this video. Actually, I think my first thought about it was, there's no way this is actually the real intro to a real human being's YouTube channel. I thought maybe whoever posted this TikTok added in the wolf and the tiger onto this to make it even funnier than it already was, but nope, they are in the actual video. This is part of the actual intro to this person's YouTube channel. The video is called Why Sigma Males Are More Attractive Than Alpha Males, which is really funny because if you watch the intro, you'll see that this dude calls his army, his his fan base, Sigma Nation. So he considers himself like a leader of the Sigmas, and he's making a video called Why Sigma Males Are More Attractive Than Alpha Males. He might as well have just titled the video Why I'm So Goddamn Hot, Why I'm Hotter Than You. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 reasons why I'm so fucking hot. Reason number one, because I said so. Reason number two, because I'm hot. And reason number three, any questions? So now I am dying to figure out why exactly Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. But first, I'm not exactly sure if I know what a Sigma male is. Don't get me wrong, I know that they're hot. Way hotter than alphas, and way cuter than betas. But I don't know if I know what they are. I know I know alpha males and beta males. Alpha's defining traits are being confident and calling everyone else beta, and beta males exist for the sole purpose of being called beta by alpha males. But I feel like I need a quick course on what a sigma male is. Because I feel like I've only heard about them recently, within the past like year. That must have been when the sigma males were invented. I think that's around when everyone was lining up outside the, the mail store for the new mail. Luckily this dude Anthony also has a video called what's a Sigma male so we can learn real quick and then we can find out why they're so hot I should mention before I get into this though that the whole like alpha and beta male thing is based on a theory about wolves and dominance That was debunked a long time ago So these categories aren't like scientifically backed at all as far as I can tell It's just a fun way for guys to label themselves. I've heard some people describe it as astrology for men so interpret that how you will. We about to get into the Sigma Nation. So everyone see it says Sigma Mel. You got all these videos you can go watch on Sigma Mel. A good one to watch is, is right here. The one guy no girl could resist. Okay, is that like the defining characteristic of a Sigma male being just like the absolute hottest motherfucker around? No, it's not, because look at the other look at the other videos about Sigma males. These ones are just like five habits of the Sigma male. What is a Sigma male? But the one that he really wants you to watch is why girls think Sigma male are so sexy. Seems like he has a very distinct view of himself as a Sigma male. The truth about Sigma males, that's another good one. But we're gonna go down to Google, all right? And we're gonna start off with what's a Sigma male? So now that we know Sigma male is a real thing, all right? Let's go ahead and understand that right now before everybody come up in here. Okay, I didn't say it wasn't. I don't know. I'm not sure why he's so defensive right off the bat. Now that kind of makes me feel like it's not a real thing. Dude, I'm part of Sigma Nation, dude. You don't have to tell me that they're real. We have just acknowledged Google is the smartest person in the world. Google has recognized Sigma male is a real male. Okay, weird wording. Google is the smartest person in the world. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he doesn't think that Google is actually a person, a human being. This next video is like, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about why Google is actually the most attractive male on the planet. Also, I don't think you can just apply that logic to anything. That if Google has a definition of it, that that means it's real. For example, I could Google who Nien Nub is, and Google could tell me that Nien Nub was a Celestin male arms dealer and smuggler who joined the Alliance to restore the Republic during the Galactic Civil War. Does that mean Nien Nub is real and not just a character in Star Wars? No, obviously not. Nien Nub only exists in Star Wars and my nightmares. Sigma males are men who are riding off into the sunset on their horses without much more than their name in a pack on their back. They don't need things from society the way other men do. Is everyone seeing that? Why do I get the feeling that the person who wrote this definition was one, a Sigma male, and two, thinks Sigma males are the absolute coolest people on the planet. In fact, why do I get the impression that this definition was written 
by this guy. Is everyone seeing it? Anyways, there you go. That's what a Sigma male is. They're kind of like alpha males, but they define themselves as being like less driven by material possessions and like success in a traditional sense. They're a lot more independent. They don't need other people's approval. They don't need to be the center of attention. So they usually don't do things like wear flashy clothing, buy really expensive cars, or I don't know, make YouTube videos trying to convince you how hot they are. And now that we know what a Sigma male is, we can find out why they're so beautiful. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, press the like button at the end, press the subscribe button at the end, and press the notifications button at the end. Unusually complicated instructions for the beginning of a video. Hey guys, before we go ahead and start the video, go ahead and watch the whole video. That way, once you finish the video, we can start it. Smash the like button at the end of the video, obliterate the like button midway through the video, and come back to comment on the video three weeks from now. Let's get into it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about why Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. Now, a lot of people didn't even know that Sigma males existed until last week. A lot of guys didn't, but a lot of guys did know. That's true, I didn't. It's almost like it's just kind of like an arbitrary collection of personality traits that people made up to make themselves sound cool. So, we're having this debate in the manosphere about alphas and sigmas. He's right, we are kind of, in, in the manosphere, we are kind of having this debate. If you're not a man like me, or if you're not like a really manly dude, and you're not really involved in like the manosphere, you probably didn't know that, but yeah, but yeah, we'll have weekly town halls, and we'll just have like a casual debate about, you know, whether or not sigma males are in fact the hottest male. We'll talk about like, you know, if you had to make out with like a male, would it be a sigma and why? And why would it be a Sigma? Why would it definitely be a Sigma? So the first part of the video is just him kind of explaining what alphas and betas are. No matter if you're alpha, no matter if you're Sigma, you're beta, omega, delta, zelta, wherever these mindsets are, mid tau, red pill, blue pill, it's all mindset. He says it's all about mindset, you know, like a beta and an alpha can both be like a rich, attractive guy. It's all about mindset. Every man can have money and still be weak. Every man can have women and still be weak. Alphas, their one main priority, according to this guy, is that they need to dominate. They need to dominate specifically other men. Alphas are known for lions for a reason, because lions conquer everything around them. When it comes to the beta male, the alpha conquers the beta male and uses the beta male to get ahead. This is what women are attracted to. They're not attracted to their money. They're not attracted to their looks. They're attracted to their dominant mindset. Alpha males use beta males. They dominate them, they conquer them, and they use them. And that is like apparently their whole mindset in life is to just like conquer weak people and use them. Which to be honest, sounds exhausting and awful. I guess I don't know enough alpha males personally but do people really think like that? Like, is are there people out there that are just constantly focused on domination? There are people that are just sitting around, make, like, I gotta make sure that I'm dominating people at all times. I need to, when I go to work today, I gotta make sure I'm dominating my coworkers. And when I go to the bar later tonight, I better be dominating my friends, dude. And I always gotta be looking over my shoulder to make sure no one's coming up from behind to dominate me. Like, why not just live your life? And sure, like, don't let people take advantage of you, obviously. You know, don't allow yourself to be dominated. I can see that. But who goes around thinking like, hmm, my coworker Brian seems like a pretty beta kind of guy. I wonder how I could dominate him and use him to my advantage. Some alpha males thrive off the conquer ship, but then you have strong individuals, which are sigma males, Sigma males gain their power off of loneliness. Oh. Oh my god. That sounded so sad. Are you okay, dude? I kind of see what he's saying, though. I mean, like, I, I'm pretty introverted and I like my alone time. Does that make me a Sigma male? Does that make me hot? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't really understand the point of putting labels on this stuff. I don't really, I mean, especially such broad labels. I feel like people are very different. This kind of sounds like somebody who is shy, which is perfectly fine, but someone who's insecure about how shy they are. Trying to make their shyness sound cool, so they made up a cool name for it called Sigma Males. Like they got called a beta one too many times and they were like, what? No, I'm not a beta, dude. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a different thing. I. I'm a Sigma. We're shy, but like in a, in a cool way, in a dominant way. You don't want to fuck with me, dude. I will do I will shyly and quietly dominate you. Oh, you like this? You like this domination? Do you feel dominated right now? I bet you do, you fucking beta. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I got scared. You're a fucking beta bitch, dude. If someone tells you, you cannot be born an alpha, 
You cannot be born a, uh, a, a sigma. They're right. Everybody's born a beta. Hell yeah, dude. Babies are so beta. All they do is get absolutely dominated by their parents. This dude has other cool videos like this one called How Sigma Males Act Around Low Value Women. To repel low value women. Stay tuned. See, this is, this is why I don't like this type of shit. Because there's a very clear hierarchy in saying there are like sigma and alpha males. And then there's beta males. It's just kind of like giving yourself reasons to feel better than other people. And if that wasn't super obvious from the titles alpha and beta, I guess he goes ahead and spells it out for you a little bit better when he's talking about women. There are some women that have very little value. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I want you to watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade. Wait, 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 what? What? You can't, I feel like you can't just say that. I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like Why it. Why would it feel like you're talking about all women if you're not talking about all women? Can, can't you just change how you're talking about women then to make it more specific to the women you are talking about? Today, what we're going to do is, I'm going to be explaining to you how to put off an alpha vibe to repel low value women. So the purpose of this video is to teach Sigma males how to put off an alpha male vibe when you're around a low value women to try to get her to not like you so much. Because I guess in his eyes, women are so turned on by Sigma males because they're the hottest thing in the world and all women know this and all women think this. And by all women, of course, we mean not all women. Even though it feels like it. The only way to throw them off your scent is by pretending to not be a Sigma male but to be an alpha male. Holy shit. Sometimes I may talk pretty low about women. Anyway, that's pretty much that whole video. He's also got a video where he's sad that an NBA player wore a dress. Wow, dude, that's interesting. Not very Sigma of you to be like so upset about what some other guy is wearing. That's kind of beta of you to let him dominate your mind like that. I mean, if you're a Sigma male, shouldn't you be like off in the woods? Making moves by yourself, dominating yourself. Okay, now here's where things get interesting. As you can probably tell by the that video about how to act around low value women, Sigma males, or at least this guy, seems to think that he's a little bit above an alpha male in the in the pecking order. This is a problem for alpha males because before Sigma males were invented, alpha males used to be like the top dog. And now these Sigma males come out of the woodwork saying, we're so hot, we can't be dominated, we have to pretend to be your ugly asses when low value women come around. And honestly, it seems like this is kind of shake in the alpha male community. There's this dude named Alpha M who's pretty big on YouTube and TikTok. He does videos offering fashion, life, dating advice to dudes who want to become as alpha as him. You've got to make sure that you're exposing a little bit of tricep proper way to tie your sneaks. Your age, divide it by two, and then add seven. So if I technically was single, I'd be like, yo, you're 28? Sorry, you're too young. 29? Yes, please. This is a feminine way of sitting. I've seen this dude's videos plenty of times before, and they've always seemed very like hacky and fake to me. A lot of times it seems like he's giving really simple solutions to complicated problems that take a lot of effort to overcome. If you want to be more confident, walk with a nice medium pace. Like he has a TikTok about how to make you trust people more. Psychological trick to make other people like you more. And his solution is to wear blue. Wear blue. He also has a TikTok about how to make yourself more attractive, where his solution is to wear red. Research has shown that when a man wears the color red, something crazy happens psychologically to his sex appeal. I wonder what he thinks about wearing purple. So yeah, all of his videos are basically just like hacks to make you more desirable to women. One of the things that you must be able to do as a dude is change a flat tire. You might see some spicy ass senorita stranded on the side of the road and you're like, excuse me, Mrs. Spicy Senorita, can I help you change a tire? And she's going to be like, oh my God, thank you. When you're done, let's make out in the back of my car. It could happen, but it can happen if you don't know what to do if you got a flat tire. Yep, that's right. If you ever want to get a girl, dude, you got to learn how to fix a flat tire. Step one to fixing a flat tire. Open the hood. That's where the that's where the wheels are. Anyway, he's got a YouTube video called 15 Signs You're a Sigma Male and Is It Better Than Alpha? And I think it gives a really good glimpse into how alpha males feel about this new category of man. Sigma? Now there's a Sigma? What the f is a Sigma? What's up, gentlemen? <laughs> Yeah, I think it gives a pretty good glimpse about how they feel. What the fuck? I'm gonna run through these 15 traits of the Sigma male. I'll let you follow along, decide whether or not it's you, or if it's not, I don't care. But what I do care about after I'm done is telling you what you need to know and what you need to do to be Alpha, Sigma, or even Beta. Because technically nobody wants to be a Beta, I'm gonna tell you what not to do in order to not be a Beta. Speak for yourself, dude. 
trying to get dominated. So he reads through the traits of Sigma males and seems to get confused by a few of them. They have an ambiguous morality, which I have no idea what that even means. They have rusty social skills. Also not sure. They can fit into friend groups, but don't rely on them. They tend to have small, but close friend circles. Wait, I thought you did. So I didn't need a friend circle. Sort of being like, what? Well, how could this person exist? The person who doesn't, doesn't need a bunch of friends? Someone who's kind of a loner? What the, what, how does everyone not want to be the center of attention all the time? That doesn't make any sense. And apparently, Sigma males don't really care about their appearance. They don't care about brand names. They don't care about what they wear. And this is something that I have an issue with. It doesn't matter how amazing you are. If you're not taking pride in your appearance, it doesn't matter how badass Sigma you are. You are not going to have the opportunities that you need in order to be all the things that a Sigma is supposed to be. It's really weird here. It's like he, it, it doesn't compute that someone could be like a successful driven person without being like super interested in brand names and like hyper focused on their appearance. It's almost like he wants you to think that you can only be fulfilled in life if you follow his own fashion advice. Wear blue. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to look good and look sexy, right? You gotta take care of your grooming because if you're whack and you stink, people aren't gonna wanna hang out with you. No wonder you're a lone wolf. It kinda feels like the existence of this new term Sigma males is just like crumbling his his worldview in front of our eyes. Like I said, I don't really see the point in likening yourself to a wolf or a tiger or whatever you want to call it. I, but I also don't think that you can deny that there are like people who like to be more alone that are successful or people that don't care about their appearance as much that are successful. I don't know, it just kind of feels like he's trying to sell you his lifestyle and he built his whole channel around the phrase alpha male because he thought that this was like the only cool type of man. And he's now finding out that there's like a different cool type of man and he just can't handle it. Gentlemen, people form opinions about you in the first three seconds upon meeting you. And if you want to have the most opportunities you possibly can, you've got to pay attention to your style. Your clothes need to be good. Your accessories need to be straight. Gentlemen, if you want to check out the baddest ass, most affordable, amazing sunglasses out there on the market. Okay, yep, well, I don't think it can get any more obvious than that. That whole video was like, mm, I don't really know if Sigmas exist. I kind of think that alphas are the only cool type of male and I'm an alpha male and if you want to be an alpha male you've got to buy my sunglasses need to be straight so yeah there you go that's that's kind of the the eternal battle between the sigma and the alpha male let me know in the comments if you're alpha sigma Ligma. And with that being said, it is now time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is actually not that guy's sunglass company. It's Current. This video has been sponsored by Current. Thank you to Current for sponsoring this video. Current is a great sponsor for this channel because not only do they support my channel when they sponsor me, but they also support you guys by giving you money. Current is banking entirely on your phone. They're not like older traditional financial institutions that are always trying to hide information. They've got hidden fees and confusing contracts. Current is straightforward and as modern as they could be. They're upfront with all of their fees. It's simple. It's easy to use. You can do everything from right within their sleek and modern looking app. When you sign up for Current, you get a debit card just like this one. This is my current debit card. And with Current, it's easy to like send money to friends, request money from friends, get paid, set up direct deposit, all of that. And like I said, they want to give back to you guys. So the first 100 people to sign up for current using my code Danny100 will get $100. That's 100 people getting $100. All you have to do is go to current.com slash Danny100 and use my code Danny100 to sign up for current. Love it when current sponsors my videos because it means that you guys get free money. So thank you to current for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for checking out current. Go ahead and sign up, get your coin, get your free money while it lasts. Bye.